the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear faithful, a blessed and holy Christmas to all of you, from all of us priests here in the Priory. As we contemplate this mystery of, nativity, of the Nativity, we shall highlight an important aspect of Christmas, which perhaps we have not seen before, which is key in our spiritual life, in the life of grace. And this aspect of Christmas is called wonder or admiration. So in this sermon, we shall look at what is wonder and what is admiration and why is it important. If we look at the common meaning of wonder from the Webster Dictionary, it says that it is a sense of astonishment, amazement, a form of surprise, and we probably ex experience this type of wonder, which we can perceive by our senses. And this type of wonder arouses our feelings. However, there is a higher type of wonder that is not based on the senses. This type of wonder is seeing or understanding an aspect of some reality more profoundly in our minds not just in the senses. It's like looking at a diamond and seeing the beautiful facets of it. You know, you turn the diamond in different directions, you can see its beauty. Wonder, this type of wonder or admiration, is not simply memorizing the facts, knowledge. It's not like Google. You know, you ask Google, the Google simply gives you the answer. That's not wonder. This wonder, this second type of wonder, is seeing the harmony of the universe, the order of things, the wisdom behind them. Seeing the objective, the beautiful plan of God. God has a plan for each one of us, and it's something beautiful in itself, no matter what we think. And so why is the second type of wonder or admiration important, especially in this type of Christmas? Well, a few reasons. The first reason is that, well, this type of wonder sees the harmony and the order of things in the world, the plan of God. It helps us to find peace. St. Augustine said, peace is nothing else than tranquility of order. So if we see the world around us or in our soul, if there is order in our soul, we, we can find peace. Jesus, when he was born in Bethlehem, okay, he was born to restore that order. He's the king of peace. He came to restore the order that was destroyed, the order that was destroyed by original sin and our sins. That life of grace, which is nothing than the wonderful supernatural order established by God. So there are two types of order, the supernatural and the natural order. Jesus established, re-established the supernatural order. And not only that, he came us to save us from our sins, which is nothing else than rejecting the order established by God, the commandments and so on. And so if we have that wonder, that second type of wonder, and which sees the order of things, we shall have peace. St. Thomas Aquinas adds, this wonder or admiration of the things of God, it is a great help to find, to foster that peace of soul. And not only that, we will have find that true rest in the contemplation of the things of God. Just like Our Lady in the crib, she too admired our Lord more profoundly than what we know. In other words, wonder or admiration is a great means to heaven. The second reason why wonder is important is that for most of us, we are all very familiar with Christmas. Perhaps that's why we're here. However, there is a danger. If every year we see Christmas and we don't wonder, we don't grow in a deeper wonder or admiration of it, one day we would lose interest. 
we would lose the extraordinariness of Christmas. We would take Christmas for granted. Our mind would not be convinced of the importance of Christmas. And, this is more, which is more dangerous, our mind would see Christmas as something ordinary. But God becoming man is something not ordinary. And God dying for sinners is not something ordinary. So if we don't grow in admiration or wonder, we will not see the order and the wisdom behind Christmas. And so if we don't see that order, we don't have that, we don't have that, that um, admiration and the order, um, we, 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 our mind becomes disordered. Our interest would become upside down. It will be something else. And we would not have that true peace. We would find admiration in other things because we lost the sense of wonder or admiration towards the things of God. We would invert the priorities in our lives. Obviously, this would not be wonderful. This is basically modernism. Back in the 1950s, 1900s, like that, men have lost the sense of admiration of the things of God. And so they turn on somewhere, something else. And so they also lost the order of things established by God. And now we have the fruit. The church is upside down in this order. So in this Mass, let us ask Jesus to have that deeper and increasing gift of wonder or admiration of the plan of God, which is nothing else than our happiness, even here below. Let us, let us, let us ask this grace to Our Lady. She is known as the Queen of Peace. And the Queen of Peace, queen of peace means the Queen of Order. She has that increasing gift of wonder and admiration on the supernatural plan of God and Jesus in our midst. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.